Hey guys, it's Rhonda and I'm back with another Disney video and today I have some DIY projects that I'm going to be working on. First, let me say that I am not an expert on making my own DIY projects, but I really enjoy doing it and it gives me that one of a kind look and so I'm really excited. So first, let me say three projects two backpacks and one crossbody bag. You guys know I love the crossbody bags. So the first one is using a basic black backpack, which is um, lounge fly size. It's just solid black all the way around. And this is the bag that I will be using to create a one of a kind look. Um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. It could be a Snoopy theme. I'm kind of liking the um, space, the astronaut Snoopy. I may do that or I may opt for his doghouse and some sort of you know, collab with Woodstock. I'm not quite sure, but that's what I'm leaning towards right now. The second backpack, <laughs> don't laugh. I found this thrifty shopping. It is the same size as the other, but it doesn't have the structure. So what I have to do is a lot of work to this backpack. So this is a basic brown, <laughs> dingy looking backpack that I saw and I'm like, I can do something with this Toy Story related. So what I plan to do is reinforce the, um, the overall structure of the bag because it's not as stiff as um, a better quality bag like this because the, the structure is kind of sewn inside. I'm just going to try and reinforce this bag to give it structure. I'm going to create a Toy Story theme on the front. Hopefully I can work in Andy's toy chest, the, the, the toys, the logo. Um, on the back, I'm thinking of decorating the straps maybe with, you know, the Jesse a cow print or I'm not sure yet these are things that I'm thinking and I have to sketch them and kind of get a better feel for what I want but this bag has seen better days <laughs> so let's take a look inside this bag because I want to show a good before and after so this bag you see is it's just basic like there's not even an interior pocket um, it's real flimsy. I showed you it can fold in on itself, but I see potential. And then on the front is a basic pocket, no structure to the pocket. And you see it's the same as the inside of the, the, the backpack. And then it has just your basic um, adjustable straps. So guys, this is my potential Toy Story backpack DIY. Last but not least, I love Snow White. Snow White is the first princess. To me, she is the gold standard, and it's what really paved the way for the Walt Disney Company and of course Disneyland, my home away from home. So I found this basic, basic boring, crossbody bag right and what I loved about it was the shape and the fact that there was nothing really obstructing um, either side no pockets no zippers no logos no this is so easy to pop off it, it, it just it looked like a good bag on the outside to work with so on the inside there is a snap closure right in the middle and then you have two zippers it, it's a roomy bag and you have the two zipped sides. This does um, adjust to whatever length you want. You can shorten or lengthen the bag. I tend to like mine really long so that they're low on the hip, but uh, this bag is going to be Snow White inspired. It's two sides, so I'm thinking princess on one 
and villain on the other. Probably squeeze the dwarves in there as well. Not sure um, of all the little minute details, but this is just me brainstorming and introducing these projects to you. So here we go, the befores, right? The befores, and then this one's already good to go. So I will be updating you on this when one or maybe all three projects are done. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take my time with this. I don't wanna mess it up. Um, I think I might start with this crossbody bag first because it does have such good panels to work with. And then I'll probably do this one and I'll save this one for last because it has the most work that needs to go into it. So thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for updates and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.